If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable FIFA 17 coins, make sure to check out MMOGAH. The link to their website is down in the description and use the code S2G to get yourself a 3% off on your purchase. And if that pass is not creative enough, I don't know what is. A brilliant through ball into Chad Evans and he doesn't make a mistake. Bangs that one, top bins and we make it 1-0 against Swindon. We get ourselves our first team of the week card. It is a silver card though. Doesn't really matter. A striker card, 72 rated. Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to the 5th episode of the My Player Career Mode series. First of all, I want to apologize to you guys for being so inconsistent with this series. The last episode of this series that I uploaded was about a week ago. So yeah, I've got to get consistent with this series. If you guys do enjoy this series, it would really mean a lot if you guys could drop a like on this video. That would be amazing. And also subscribe if you are new around here. If you could get anywhere near 100 likes. That would really be incredible. We are going to get through a lot of stuff in today's episode. We've got a ton of EFL League 1 games. And besides that, we're going to ask the manager to actually give us the number 10 shirt. You guys will see that conversation later on in this episode. But right now, as you can see, in the League 1, we are 10th. Which I think is pretty incredible. Considering when we joined Chesterfield on loan from Arsenal, of course. We were 24th or bottom of the league. So, I guess that's pretty incredible. This season, we've improved by 1 overall. And we've scored 1 goal and one assist in the EFL League 1 which I think is pretty decent so as you can see our sprint speed gone up by one and a lot of good stats have increased which is always nice to see but I want to increase my stats more Santiago's goal for the end of the season is to be at least 74 rated let's see if we can achieve that so guys Santiago actually wants the number 10 shirt for Chesterfield he wore that at Arsenal shortly and he kind of wants the number 10 shirt so he asked the boss but the boss has put a stipulation or a challenge for uh, Santiago Lopez that he has to score 10 goals and then he can have it so once he scores 10 league goals well he can have the number 10 shirt so he's kind of fired up for this task and he's already scored one goal so he just needs to score nine more it's no easy feat but if he does manage to do that he will have the number 10 shirt at Chesterfield this is the team that the boss has chosen for this one against Oldham Athletic and Santiago is going to play as a left striker. He really doesn't like to play on the left-hand side, but he has no choice. The boss decides this one. But as you can see, Oldham Athletic had the first chance of this game. A cross put inside the box, but it wasn't a threatening cross, and our defense did play that one. Another cross from Dennis here, and I made a good run, actually, for this one, but the ball couldn't reach me. In fact, to be fair, it wasn't the best of crosses. We had another chance this time in the second half. The ball played through into me. I played in a decent pass into my strike partner, Dennis. After some great build up play I get a great chance to score but I'm pushed off the ball by one of the defenders and we get a free kick and we actually get to take a free kick it took a deflection from one of those defenders but the keeper did make the save there I mean it's great that we're now getting to take free kicks hopefully penalties soon as it will really help my stats increase I play a fantastic through ball into my striker he couldn't finish it and the game does end in a boring nil nil draw very disappointed with the results and that's what really itches me when playing on world class because there really aren't many chances in the games which is very annoying indeed opposition don't have many chances we don't have many chances so I'm actually really thinking to you know lower the difficulty to world class what is your thoughts on that guys drop a comment and let me know we get a 6.7 match rating for this one and a lot of our stats do increase because I think this was our 10th game so that is pretty good we've already I think completed our you know match objectives for the next four games or for these four games and we've already done with two games we actually already scored a goal so that's not much of a problem our conversion rate is already good enough you know 25% unless we give in some horrific performances we should be completing all our objectives pretty easily next game against Peterborough it's a chance for us to potentially increase our goal tally get closer to you know getting the number 10 shirt so we are going to be playing alongside Chad Evans who I've actually heard a lot of different stuff about in the comment section. You guys have told me that he's a convicted rapist. So I guess it's not good for Santiago to be around Chad Evans. So we'll keep that in mind. Santiago won't be going to the parties etc with Chad Evans. So that won't be happening. 
but we've still got to cope with him being in the team because he is an integral part of this team he's 69 rated just like us but anyways um again we got tackled off by those defenders this game was particularly hard for us we were barely getting the ball and when we got the ball we were getting tackled pretty easily like look at this again i'll try to cut inside and then take it outside but it just didn't work world class is proving really difficult for me which is surprising because i normally play on legendary and i literally school the defenders but here it's not happening and we also get ourselves injured and that was very frustrating indeed luckily for us it wasn't a major injury it wasn't even an injury it was just a knock but the coach decided to sub me off for precaution purposes but we do manage to beat peter borrow two goals to nil so not that bad but really disappointed with the way our last two games went a nil nil draw a two nil win where we really didn't have any influence so we've got to start performing better but luckily for us the club's doing really well sixth in the efl league one Honestly, it's incredible. Six points off the top of the league. Imagine winning the league in our first season with Chesterfield because I think that would be great. It will really increase a lot of our stats because I believe there is an accomplishment that if you win the league, you'll get major stat boosts. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. We get picked for this Bolton game as well. And if I am finding this game very difficult as well on world class, I probably will tone the difficulty down to professional and leave it up to you guys to decide whether we should keep it on professional or whatever. It's up to you guys to decide that. But again, I'm playing alongside Chad Evans. It's still a decent team. Let's see what we can do. This game was much better. We were getting involved a lot in the attacks and this attack was actually pretty good, but we couldn't finish it. Probably because I had to take the shot with my left foot and that's one reason why I want to play on the right side because as a right striker I can hit, I can hit those cross body shots pretty com comfortably but that's not happening in this case here trying to turn the defender the defender wasn't having any of it makes a great challenge keeps the score nil nil and look at this man this got me so pissed man Anderson what you're doing mate I mean he had his back towards the goal there's no need for that challenge he gives away a simple penalty and it's going to be Lafondre to put this into the back of the net and he isn't going to miss. Bolton Wanderers take the lead in the 26th minute. If I'm not wrong, this is the first goal we've conceded as a player when, whenever we've played. So I think that's pretty cool that we've conceded only after like playing like 10 or 12 games, which I think is really incredible. But Bolton were trying to score more as they had all the chances in this game. And as you can see in this clip again, as soon as I pass the ball to my player, he loses it. And that's one thing, man. On World Class, my teammates are also performing shit, which isn't really good. And they had a free kick here to make it two goals to nil, just missed. But we were having zero impact on this game. You guys can see that based on the match rating. 6.4 is just abysmal. Late on in this game, they had a chance to make it two goals to nil. But, well, the corner was defended. Well, ball falls to this Trotter guy who takes the shot. Luckily for us, his shot went wide. Again, as I said, very disappointing indeed. So I've decided for the next game, at least... I will be putting the difficulty down to world, not world class, down to professional. We'll see what happens. We get a lot of stat boosts right now. In fact, just a reactions plus two. But that puts us up to 70 overall, which is pretty good. As you lot can see the stats of this game, you guys can already notice that our positioning has been awful lately. We are dropping down to midfield a lot. I think that needs to change. Surprisingly, even after those bad performances in our last three games, the coach is still backing me and the best part is even my teammate. So that is actually a pretty good gesture from my teammates and even the boss. They still trust me to perform. But to be fair, guys, it's only been three games since we've been bad. Besides that, I think we've been pretty decent, so I guess that's good. And I am putting the difficulty down to professional. If you guys do want me to still play on World Class, drop a comment and let me know. But the thing is, on World Class, I can't provide entertaining content for you guys. On professional, for player career mode, I can provide you guys some entertaining content. So drop a comment and let me know what do you prefer. We do manage to complete these objectives, so that's pretty good, you know, these four game objectives. And we've got new objectives for our upcoming four games but they're pretty similar to the previous ones a minimum average rating of 6.0 and he wants us to score one goal of course the boss wants us to score a goal and a conversion rate above 10 percent so we have been picked for this one against afc wimbledon they're not the best of teams in the league so i'm hoping to get a few goals now that the difficulty is on professional we will see what happens chad evans is starting with us it's a strong lineup for chesterfield hopefully we can get three points and of course 
move up the table things didn't start off really well for us and i know the difficulty is unprofessional but it still seemed really difficult as elliot here finds taylor who takes the shot not the best of attempts but they carved us out pretty well finally around about the 18th minute santiago lopez got the chance to shine around about 30 yards away from goal he gets the ball makes a great run going past three players and then santiago lopez smashes the ball into the back of the net he gets a few objectives done but most importantly he puts chesterfield into the lead a brilliant finish that was from the number 13 and of course he is gunning to get the number 10 shirt and if he keeps performing this way he probably will get that next opportunity now for santiago lopez just moments later fantastic link up play with brown and that's a superb through ball from brown and then a great finish from santiago lopez making it two goals to nil for chesterfield his first brace for chesterfield and now he might be looking for that hat trick but it was all about the through ball from brown our teammate and since i've put the difficulty down to professional my teammates are actually playing a lot better and i'm really enjoying the gameplay if you guys think it's too easy just drop a comment and let me know i'll put it back to world class i'll be doing whatever you guys want anyways but even though it's on professional the opposition are having a lot of opportunities they had a great chance to score there luckily for us i'll keep it it's safe that we do a cheeky ball draw played out wide and mitchell plays the ball back into us and we get our first hat trick with chesterfield and this was all about the pass as well that through ball from mitchell was just special perfectly onto my right foot and then i just had to finesse that one bottom right corner no chance for the keeper we get ourselves our first hat trick santiago lopez scores a hat trick in the efl league one and now we might have another chance in fact it's our teammate who has an opportunity who takes the strike but it goes just wide and what a win for us against afc wimbledon three goals to nil we get our first match ball and we are closer to getting the number 10 shirt the shirt that we want to wear at chesterfield we get a 10 on 10 rating for this game which is pretty decent 70 rated still though and we get a few stat boosts thanks thanks to scoring that hat trick even though this game was on professional i really wasn't able to create that many chances you know i couldn't find the difficulty to be that easy because we only had three shots in the game we were very clinical and that's why we scored three goals so yeah but most importantly we get picked for the team of the week once again and we get ourselves our second in form card which is going to be a 74 rated silver and this card actually looks pretty good if this card was on ultimate team i think it would be a pretty good card pretty fun card to use the argentine gets himself another informed card and we end this episode seventh in the league not too shabby you know 15 games into the season 23 points not too bad at all we are done with the month of october we couldn't win player of the month which is no surprise as we didn't really perform in the previous three games but hopefully next month we can aim for player of the month we'll get a purple card then which will be definitely interesting to get but anyways guys let's have a look at the top scorers and all or you know basically the player stats of this league we are nowhere near in the top 15 for the top scorers but in 16th place we are actually there with four goals for chesterfield i would love to be top scorer in this competition that would really help our stats grow and would be really good for santiago lopez's career as you can see he tweets out that of course he's glad to help the team win with his hat trick but most importantly after scoring that hat trick he actually gained a lot of followers he's got now about 10,000 followers so he might be getting more sponsor offers and all such stuff very soon more brand deals etc that would that would actually be really interesting to see you know maybe a boot sponsor um you know someone like adidas or nike how cool will that be these are basically the season stats for santiago lopez he's now 70 rated nine games played four goals and one assist and a lot of his stats have increased in this episode which i think is brilliant especially his technical stats they're going up a lot thanks to scoring all those goals etc but that guys is pretty much it for this episode if you guys are enjoying the series drop a like on this video that will be greatly appreciated follow me on twitter to stay updated with the channel 100 likes as always is the goal for today subscribe as i said for more fifa 17 content and i will see you guys very soon with another episode of this series